Hey everybody, I'm back with another update on what's happening here in Southern Utah and today I'm actually at Dixie State University with the athletic director Jason Booth. A lot of people have heard that we're going Division I. Some people know what that means, other people don't. Um, with that, we'll explain that and with that there's a lot of improvements happening with Burns Arena, the football stadium, softball stadium, the old fitness center. Uh, and Jason is here today to give us a, an idea of what we can expect to see and and have here at Dixie State University going forward. Uh, so Jason, thanks for your time today. Yeah, thanks, Appreciate man. it. Um, so the Division I thing um, that everyone has been hearing about, what is Division I? What does that mean? Division I is the top level of intercollegiate athletic competition. Um, we've been competing as a Division II for the last 14 years and doing very, very well uh, right. in that, both oh, yeah. on the fields, on the courts, and in the classroom. Um, and we are ready to go and make the next jump to you know, the top level, which is what people are probably familiar with, Utah, BYU, Utah State, Utah Valley, Southern Utah, Weaver State. Those are the Division I schools in our state. Um, so there's, there's a lot of great competition within the state, um, and that's the same level we're going to be competing at. Very cool. Now, I, I grew up here, so I've been, I've been through JUCO to Division II, yeah. And obviously it's a, it's a dream as an athlete growing up to be able to have a D1 school, right. to go to a D1 school, right. but then even to have one in your, in your, in your town yeah. is, is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a huge deal for the town. And, and St. George and Southern Utah community is ready for this um, to, to have, and they quite honestly deserve a Division I right, absolutely. in town to be able to compete with you know, the, our, our friends up north. Um, yeah. Not only in Cedar, but also in, in Orem and in Ogden and everywhere else. So. Uh, I think we, we've proven that we can have a successful athletic program uh, no matter what level. At the JUCO level, we've been right. very successful, we've won national that. championships, mm -hmm. and we've done very well Division II. Mm -hmm. um, haven't won any national championships, but we've won a lot of conference and regional championships, oh, yeah. done very, very well. Um, and this will allow us to showcase our athletic success uh, at the highest level, and, and, a, and a level that people are just familiar with. That we'll have teams coming in here that people know, right. um, uh, that are very big names uh, of, of teams. And uh, I think the community is going to be very, very excited and, and very, um, very supportive of this move to Division For sure. One. I agree completely. I'm super excited. So with that, with the Division One move, we've got improvements to some of the facilities. Yeah. First off, we're here in the Directors Club. This is downstairs at Burns Arena. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the improvements at Burns Arena. Well, this, this room here, the Directors Club, is a room for our top level of our Booster Club. Um, the Trailblazer Club is the, is the Booster Club, but the Directors Club is the top level within the Booster Club. Okay. Um, and this, uh, this hospitality room used to be the old uh, Colonel's Room, if you're familiar with that from back in the day. Um, and we've ran, completely renovated it. It looks phenomenal. Yeah, and I was here. I've seen it before and after, and it's, it's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it it's a, doesn't even look like the same space. But we offer, for Trailblazer, for Directors Club members, we offer um, a full meal before uh, basketball games and then uh, this hospitality room throughout uh, with drinks and snacks and candy and popcorn and anything you want for those levels for our home basketball games. We also offer meals at all, all of our football games for the Directors Club members um, and so it's a great opportunity for uh, individuals and businesses to support the team with season tickets but also a way to entertain clients or just bring friends yeah. um, and enjoy the game and have a nice first class and quite honestly a division one experience for sure um, uh, here in St. George. Yeah no I've been to a few and, and it's it's fun it's fun to see people and hang out. It's, and yeah it's a different feel. You it know, is. It's, it's a top I mean, when we before we even announced division one we have this room and people are like wow this is amazing this is right this is a big time feel um, and you know we were working on that just hadn't made it public that you know the division one move and now it kind of it fits within within that next move. Just right. Well, in Burns Arena itself, the the, the arena has already been. A, 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 I feel like oh, a yeah. D one atmosphere type. Our, gym anyway. our facilities that we've had here are that we have here are phenomenal, and it really was a huge piece that allowed us to consider Division One. For sure, we don't have to make these huge upgrades and do you know pour in you know hundreds of millions of dollars right. in the facilities just there. to have divisional facilities. We have Division One facilities. Yeah. We're just going to upgrade them to make, get us on a par recruiting wise to have an, of equal facilities with our competitors. So also in the Burns Arena we have um, uh, we have new seats. Uh, we have we've, we've replaced, we replaced roughly half of them before this season and the rest of them will be replaced this off season. Um, nice. There's also this spring, this off season we're going to install a brand new video board, four sided beautiful video board uh, thanks to a, a gift from Mountain America Credit Union. And, um, and, and the floor is only five, six years old, and we're gonna repaint that. It'll have a new look next year with our move to the WAC. 
Um, so the, the Burns Arena looks brand new. It's, it's a phenomenal facility for us. Awesome, good stuff. So moving on to the football stadium, uh, we've always just had the, the one side. Yeah. We, we, we went through, you guys have in the last couple years put in a, the other side, so we've got yeah. two sides of the football stadium. Yeah. What can we expect to see in the next year or two uh, with the football stadium? Well, we, a few summers ago we did phase one, which is a new uh, track and a field. So we widened the field and widened the track so that it was regulation track so that we could get a regulation soccer field within the track. So make dual purpose there. Okay. So that was phase one. Phase two followed shortly thereafter, which was the additional 5,000 seats on the east side. Underneath that is uh, uh, locker rooms for visiting teams and uh, auxiliary locker rooms for our use. Um, there's lots of storage and whatnot underneath there. Lots of restrooms, additional restrooms for those extra 5,000 people. Another concession stand as well. So that was sorely needed to host lots of events, uh, not just our events, but high school championships, um, local high school games, other events such as um, uh, the, uh, you know, motocross and you know the uh, things yeah. like you know that, that can that we can now host for uh, sure graduation as well concerts too yeah, concerts the we just now. need that capacity to have the restrooms and whatnot so that was huge for that now the fi this final phase which um, we, we recently announced the, um, the agreement with Greater Zion to name the stadium Greater Zion Stadium will allow us to finish the final phase phase three which is a complete tear down and rebuild of um, the restrooms on the west side um, the ticket office on the west side, everything on the west side, uh, our, our brand new locker room for our football team, and um, as well as a brand new press box. Two level press box, which will include private suites, loge seating, uh, loge seating, and um, a, uh, uh, an entertainment area, a banquet space for about 200 and 250 people on the, you know, up in the press, up box, in the press box, which we'll have, uh, which we'll use for the director's club uh, folks for, for football games, but it'll be available for rent for wedding receptions or business meetings or whatever, and the view will be uh, at night to be out towards the city with the D on the hill and wow. the temple. It'll be, a, it's a phenomenal oh, wow. view That's from awesome. out there, and so it'll be a highly sought after place. But Sweet. it's a great asset for um, our teams to use during the day for meetings, um, for us to use for, for games uh, as well. So that will finish off the stadium um, uh, three phase renovation that we've been working on for a few years. Very cool, I love it. So moving forward from there, the successful softball team, I mean, that's one of the teams that's seen a lot of success the last couple of years for Dixie State. What are, what's the outlook for them with their with their softball team? The we got a, a phenomenal initial gift from uh, Dennis and Diane Lyman of a million dollars to get that project started. And so we're in the process of getting that uh, programmed and, and trying to raise the additional roughly $5 million to get that program done. Um, but we've got a beautiful design of a, of a softball facility that, that we want to build because that, does, that facility, what's been designed, um, matches the quality of the program that we have. Um, the field we have now, with, with the field is fine. Mm -hmm. They have a locker room, it's fine. We can have a Division One program without doing any renovations, but the right, seating but the, and the fan yeah. accommodations and the restrooms are absolutely uh, for sure. unacceptable for, for us. So, and they've been to the National World Series. Oh, we've the, been to the, the World Series, the three, World Series three couple times. times. In uh, 2015, we lost to the National Championship game. Right. So it's a very, very good program. Our most successful nationally as a Division II, um, right there with men's golf, who's been to the NCAA tournament every single year we've been in the NCAA. Um, and so it, it deserves the facility to match that. And um, we feel that that program, uh, one of a few, will be able to not really miss a beat when they go to Division One. Just you know, awesome. probably won't be getting in the World Series right away. Obviously, we won't be able to for the first right. four years, but they're going to be very competitive and be right at the top of the conference right away. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool to see. So then, last but not least, we've got the old fitness center, yeah. which I, I think I even did maybe some swimming lessons there <laughs> back way back when. Um, and I know as a student, I would go in there and work out sometimes. What's the plan for the old fitness center? The old fitness center, now that the Human Performance Center is open, um, will be renovated into a, a student athlete wellness facility. So we'll have a full athletic training services will be in there. We don't have a large athletic training room right now. We have right. the largest one we have is in the uh, Greater Zion Stadium, and it's nowhere near large enough for all of our uh, nearly 400 student athletes. So we need that large uh, space and be centrally located for them to get to what are not only athletic training but rehab facilities that will have uh, cold and hot uh, therapy pools uh, wow. in there as well. There will also be a medical clinic in there with x-ray. 
Um, our sports psychologist will have an office in there. So when our, when our athletes need to see a doctor right away, the doctor will be available right there. They don't have to go over to the hospital. Uh, not that that's a huge inconvenience, but right. if the doctor is right there, they'll just walk around the corner and see a doctor. Um, and so that, that's a phenomenal resource that we'll have. Yep. Again, that's just another thing. For that's a D1. D1 thing. That, I've been to D1 universities yeah. with, a, with that oh, yeah. facility. Yeah. And, and, and we have a need for it anyway. So we'd probably be doing it anyway, whether we're going to Division One or not, mm -hmm. just to service our student athletes. So um, we, we uh, will be starting that renovation here over the summer and hopefully have it completed in, in mid-fall. Nice. Very cool. So that's a wrap for Dixie State University. As you can tell, going Division One is a big deal. As an athlete growing up here, like it's I, like I said before, I've gone from watching the JUCO dominate. I've watched so many teams dominate at the D2 level, um, and I can't wait to see what what we can do D1. It's going to be awesome. It's be great. Um, so, well, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. For more info. Uh, Call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks guys. Okay.